oral Sunday. Polio vaccine. They, uh, as in this area, they did it, uh, a lot of it in, in the schools, elementary schools, high schools. Uh, you could go in and they gave you a sugar cube. The medicine was on the sugar cube, you pop in your mouth, and I think you had to go two or three times to get the full vaccine by the time it was done. Uh, that's where we're visiting now. Is it has to do with the polio. Uh, this is back during the 60s. Uh, you know, three consecutive Sundays. Uh, the polio epidemic peaked in 1952. Uh, there were over 58,000 cases reported that year and 3, 000, a little over 3,000 deaths that year from polio. Uh, it could be anywhere from uh, just aches and pains to severe crippling. Uh, I used to work with a guy that was, uh, when he, re he retired while I was working with him, uh, wore a brace on his leg from polio when he was, you know, when he was a young child. Uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt had polio when he was a child. A lot of times when you see uh, pictures of Franklin Roosevelt or film, he's standing holding on to something. He's holding on to somebody's arm or somebody's got his arm. He's sitting down. That's because of his polio. They, he always had something propping him up. Uh, no, they're still going on. <laughs> Uh, get around where I can see this in the light. Uh, the vaccine, as we said a while ago, there is a polio vaccine, but it doesn't cure it. So if you've got it, it couldn't do anything for you. Uh, you could wind up in an iron lung. I don't know if you've ever seen pictures of the old iron lungs. Oh yeah, the, the, just the thought of having to be in that iron lung. It's terrifying. Yeah, let's see. The uh, United States has been polio-free since 1979, so luckily, hopefully it's gotten rid of and will never be back again.